Hello my beautiful Scorpio, this is your reading for the second half of July 2024, I hope you're doing well. I did a bit of a pre-shuffle to see what you can expect in your love life in the second half of July and I'm getting there's going to be two people. Um, not only do we have the two of pentacles, we've got the two of wands in the reverse, we've got the two of cups. Whenever I see a lot of twos, a decision needs to be made. Not only that, you've got two aces, so it feels like you're going to be choosing one or the other okay um definitely there's going to be a choice that's not so great uh because i'm getting cards like the ten of swords the devil so i feel like you're going to need to choose wisely here you've also got the moon in the reverse i saw the high priestess in the reverse the page of swords in the reverse so i feel like one of them is going to be a bit dishonest I'm getting dishonesty around one of these options. Yeah, there's definitely a choice between two because you've got two knights as well. You've got two queens. There's definitely, definitely two distinct energies here. Okay, so if I would, if I, if I was to put a bet on it, I would, I would say you've got an air sign and an earth sign to choose from. Okay. We have fire here as well, but I'm, I'm going to stick with air and earth. The Knight of Wands is just the energy that I'm picking up on. I feel like it's the less than honest option that's coming through. Okay, these are your options, Seven of Cups. Yeah, High Priestess in the reverse, someone is hiding something. Um, hmm. So that's what I'm being shown. Okay, let's see what else. I want to see if I can get any further details about these two people. All right, let's see. Angels and Spirit, please show me who is coming towards Scorpio in the second half of July 2024, please. Who's coming towards Scorpio? Who's coming towards Scorpio, please? Is coming towards Scorpio in the second half of July 2024. I'm getting education around one of them. So they work in some kind of field where, like in a position where they could be a mentor or a coach or a guide or they just impart their knowledge um so education around one of them angels and spirit please show me this could also be taurus energy okay definitely someone you don't know you've got the stranger card so i feel like you could chance upon somebody while you're already speaking to someone else and that's where you find yourself in a position to choose. Show me, please. Who's coming towards Scorpio? Who's coming towards Scorpio in love, please, Spirit? Yeah, we've got a lost soul. So one of them is going to bring some confusion. Please show me. Who's coming in for Scorpio in love? One of them is quite a lot older than you. I would say like maybe five years or above. Yeah, and with criminal, don't panic. I just feel like there's someone who's a bit of an imposter. Will hold themselves out to be someone who then who they're not. Show me please who's coming towards Scorpio. So that's what I'm picking up. All right, here we go. Yeah, so there's one older and there's one younger, okay? Um, as in one could be five years or above older than you and one could be a a couple of years younger than you. 
You might chance upon one of them who helps you with directions if you're somewhere that you're not used to, somewhere that you're not familiar with. They see you from afar and they see that you need some assistance. I'm getting that from the Hunter card. So they see you, they see you first and they seek you out. I'm getting that with the Spy card, okay? So they've, they've observed you from afar. And definitely education, teaching and learning is around one of them. One of them is going to be more into sport. Yeah, see, we've got coach. This is the whole teaching thing. Um, so one of your options is quite fit. I'd say it's the younger one, but it may not be. Um, all right, let's have a look at what your guidance is. I'm drawn to the time traveler oracle. So let's see what we can get from this deck. What is Scorpio's guidance when it comes to love, please? In the second half of July 2024, what is Scorpio's guidance in love? What is Scorpio's guidance in love, please? What is Scorpio's guidance in love? Playfulness. I love this. So go out and have fun. Don't have too high expectations. Just meet people. Um, it's really nice. Um, okay, let's have a look. I think Sagittarius got a similar message. Okay, angels and spirit, please show me. You might have a lot of Sagittarius in your chart. I do. Um, let's see, angels and spirit, please show me. What is the guidance for Scorpio when it comes to love? Second half of July, 2024. What is the guidance? So just be in the moment with that playfulness card. Yeah, and you've got be open to magic synchronicities so that you release your fears about love and open to it fully. Um, so be open and leave room for magic. There's too many cards that flew out. So what is the message? What's the message for Scorpio in love, please? Spirit? What is the message for Scorpio in love? just be open 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 share your feelings just be 100% yourself yeah I keep getting the same message yeah see the good in everything and be open to gaining an understanding be open to getting to know new people angels and spirit please show me what is Scorpio's message in love Second half of July, 2024. I really feel like your fortune is about to change. Um, and this came up in the last reading. Um, you're about to have a better experience in your love life than maybe you have in a while. Um, ask questions. If you have an inkling that someone is being less than honest or someone is withholding, as we saw earlier, the, the guidance that's coming through here is the need to ask questions, not interrogate the other person, but just communicate Avoid misunderstandings. Um, yeah, another card about communication. Uh, don't be, hmm, as I said, don't interrogate because it's just going to cause the other person to be defensive um, or trigger them and then things won't be very pleasant. Yeah, you don't want to nail someone on their stuff or get their back up with you. Just take a gentle approach. Um, and let's see what other guidance comes through. What is the message for Scorpio in love in the second half of July, 2024? Here we go. 
Spirit is saying just keep working on your dream because life is creating something so much bigger than you currently have the ability to understand. Keep lifting your energetic vibration because there's a suggestion here that there's an energetic gap between what you between you and what you want, okay? So avoid focusing on what you don't want or what you don't have. Um, okay, and don't give too many benefits of the doubt, even though the advice is to remain open, open to meeting new people, open, open to getting to know them. Um, don't ignore red flags, obviously, because you've got a card here about refusing to accept or admit to the truth of something unpleasant. So being in denial or minimizing or excusing. Um, okay. There's a sense here of the need to go after whatever it is that you want because there's a card here that says change is not in the hands of anyone else in the situation. You can't wait for them to do something to get to where you want to be. So you might need to initiate plans or initiate a, a conversation. Um, you need to make decisions. Don't wait for the other person to decide because this card says you need to make choices no matter how difficult. Again, there's a suggestion that there's two people for you to choose from here. So I'm going to end with a, a crystal spirit message. What is the guidance for Scorpio in love in the second half of July 2024, please? Okay, that was determined to come out. So you've got green aventurine, which I really like, and you've got Lemurian quartz. Okay. So green adventuring is about the need to recognize that there is no end to the number of people who will come into your life offering loving support and acceptance. So ne never settle for what, sorry, never settle for less than you deserve. It's so hot here that it's kind of frying my brain. Um, it's asking you to open to possibility. There's that word again, open, open to possibility and the love that you seek will show up for you. The universe is always sending new opportunities for experiencing love and make sure there are many fish in the sea. Okay. Possibilities for experiences your soul craves are everywhere, offering new opportunities to help you find your purpose. So I like this. And Lemurian Quartz is saying, again, unlocking the secrets of infinite possibility. It says, step back and see the big picture of what you're experiencing. Is it what you envisioned? Because you may be shown something even better than you dream about. So it's saying don't settle for the first person to come along because you've got multiple opportunities at love coming up. Let the universe show you what's possible in your relationships that you have not been aware of before because there is a big picture that you've not been seeing. Okay, I love this. I hope it resonated with you, Scorpio. Do leave me feedback in the comments below and I'll see you again soon. Bye.